to the Ministry of Youth Sports and Community Empowerment's Bridges television program. I am Tamisha Dalti and with me is Liam Paris Boyne. In this television program, we will highlight the work and activities of the Ministry of Youth Sports and Community Empowerment. In this premiere episode, we will bring you highlights from the Barbados Youth Advance Corps Passing Out Parade, the National Youth Awards, and a garment-making segment from the Community Development Department. Under the Division of Youth, we have the Barbados Youth Advance Corps, the Youth Development Program, the Pathways Employability Program, the Next Step Training Initiative, National Summer Camps, and the Youth Entrepreneurship Scheme. Through these programs, the Ministry serves young persons across Barbados. But first, we'll hear from the Minister of Youth, Sports and Community Empowerment, the Honorable Charles Griffith. Let's join him. 2023 has been designated as the Year of the Youth. Here at the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Community Empowerment, my team is doing all that is necessary to empower our young people this year. Um, currently, we have Bridge to the World that is going, that is looking to uncover new talent as it relates to entertainment, as it relates to areas where our young people can excel in the um, entertainment industry. Uh, a focus is on singing, but it is also a program where I have seen dance come to the fore as well as spoken word. In addition to that, we have rolled out this year uh, the National Mentorship Program that has provided an opportunity for some of our focused young people to impact on younger persons as well. So we have, we're targeting 50 mentors in the initial phase and we're targeting 50 mentees to complement that particular program. Sports is something that is ever present and what we are doing in sports, we're looking to ensure that we have community coaches that will buttress what is currently happening at the National Sports Council. And what do I mean by community coaches? These coaches will go into communities across the country, identify a target population, 10, 15 or so youngsters, and they will provide all the rudimentary training for those youngsters at the community level who are interested in football, basketball, netball. These are some of the programs that we're looking to do in sports. Tennis or indigenous sports is one of those areas that we're focusing on to ensure that we can make this a world-class sport. The end result, hopefully, will be that we're going towards the Olympics at some point in time. Community development is another area that is under this particular ministry. And community development are doing center management committees where we are looking to ensure that we have those community centers at community level opening after close of um, close of work. So the center management committees will be having programs and running the community centers from 5.30 to 11 o'clock every single evening. Why? There's a need for us to have those community centers open at the time that we believe would be high traffic. A period in time where we believe that most activities should be taking place at the community levels. Community secretary at the that house the partial independence committee this is another segment of the ministry that is doing some fantastic work at community level what we're doing is providing an opportunity for young persons i.e the ambassadors to grow and to reach their true potential every single parish uh two youth two young persons are attached to do the ambassador program culminating in the spirit of the nation at the end of november the YES program. The YES program is one of those initiatives that is providing all of our young people who are interested in entrepreneurship with the necessary training and the tools to ensure that at the end of the day, whatever business it is that they are interested in, that they can move to the next level and manage the business and manage the business in a competent way. In recent time, we would have launched our first um, newsletter, Bridges. And this is a program that will identify all of the good work that is being done by the team here at the ministry to promote young people. I am here doing this recording with another initiative from the ministry, the digital media program that is placing a lot of young people in an area where I believe that they can benefit from the social media, they can benefit from um, starting their own business as far as media is concerned. Only recently in our budget, the Prime Minister would have mentioned 
um, that we are looking to trigger the film industry by having persons come in and utilize the skills here. And I believe that this same media program, digital media program that is housed here at the ministry should be able to benefit from that particular program in terms of providing the necessary skill sets, the necessary resources that we, might be required from these international film bodies to work here in Barbados. There are some other initiatives that I would want to mention here. Um, we have reintroduced the Block Committee. The Block Committee is tasked with visiting all of the blocks across this island to try to reintegrate those youngsters who are lining on the blocks into mainstream society. We have covered almost 150 blocks at this point in time and those youngsters are going into programs that will provide an opportunity for them to learn a new vocational skill and to get involved in whatever type of work that they want to do. All the necessary resources are being provided for them to be engaged in the process. So these are some of the initiatives that will impact um, our population across age groups. Um, and I believe that you will see the fruits of all of this in due course where our young people are doing well and the seniors that are involved in this swim program are doing well, that you will see communities again being empowered at a level that they have never been empowered at before. You just heard from Minister Griffith as he spoke about several of the sections and activities within the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Community Empowerment. One of these sections that we're really happy about is the Barbados Youth Advance Corps. Hey, my name is Shaquille. I am from Cohort 3. I joined the BYAC because I had some personal issues or so anger management I had to deal with and I thought it was actually a good program to join to help me sharpen up my skills also in guarding. BYAC is strictly disciplined because it is really cut your mentality, not fully, but to show you there's better. Like there's a different way. Like you think it one sided, then you cut that and show you a different. So you actually got two sides you can see now. And that's where you gotta sit down and tell yourself what you're gonna do. That's where you make your path. That's what we find my garden and find what I really love. Which is plumbing, because I, I, I did plumbing out there. I'm really glad for everybody for real. Thankful for the b -way AC. The Barbados Youth Advance Corps started its fifth cohort late last year. Recently, the fifth cohort had its passing out parade and ended its residential phase. I'm uh, very, very happy, although I had a lot of fun here. It was very difficult to keep my head straight, but I made it true. Well, for one, I'm very confident in myself. Before, I wasn't confident. And I was really a loner. I wasn't around people very much. But ever since I came to this program, it helped me develop social skills, and now I can have fun with everybody. Every day, consistently making a bed, making sure everything is straight, folding your clothes properly, making sure your shoes shine, nails cut, hair cut, everything. Initially he wasn't too excited about it, um, but you know, being in the in an area where he was struggling a little bit, um, finishing his school or whatever, I just thought it was a good opportunity for him to you know, develop. And uh, so far the program has proven that he's developed tremendously. Um, I think he's taken to it like a duck to water and just transformed. So I'm quite happy with what I've seen so far. Right, I was so happy just to see him standing there out front, you know, charge his squad. And, you know, then to see him marching and do all the things that I, some little things that I helped him out with, doing them really well. Yeah, just put the smile to my face. Well, for the most part, I want him to just pursue his goals. Whatever his goals are right now, and uh, we're going to review them again and see if it's you know, going in a direction that's going to help benefit him. And as long as he's pursuing his goals, I'm, I'll be happy. Phase 2 is going to be mostly just focusing on educating and developing the uh, other things. And then, um, you know, just going forward, becoming a man, you know, learning all those different things that's going to make him into a, a good man, a good citizen in Barbados. So, I'm looking forward to that. If you want to join the fair service, well, that make me happy. <laughs> well, seeing the program, seeing the, uh, the program being posted on social media and the activities, the activities and etc. My choice of where is being a police officer. I know at this program, 
but help me develop to be a strong program, a strong officer. Physically, academically, so forth. The instructors, the way how they treat you, the trainees, the the better locker, the way how you make your better locker. Um, they like this way and drill. Came on and social, IT, information technology, POB, principal of accounts, business, sorry. Um, and they are. Hey, I see pros. I am so happy for him. He deserves it. Show me how pro you see. <laughs> Show me. Proud, proud, proud. I feel excited for him. Whatever he does, I'm backing him. Whatever career he chooses, that's the world going on with him. Yes, to anyone. I was in it too, a couple years ago. Actually, like 22, 23 years ago. So, yeah, it's a good place to be. Good place. I feel good. Yeah, to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to be a medic in mass, English. Anything to do with being a medic. <laughs> very very proud i said to his dad um when they were talking about it i said i wonder if aaron would win because he is before going into the program um he used to work out a lot at the gym a lot he was very motivated in that area and when i heard his name i was filled with joy <laughs> because covid played a big part in him not um you know doing as well in school as he normally would um online school wasn't uh it wasn't the best for him so that was the next alternative because um at that time too it wasn't really a lot of options yeah well at first i really not sure about it but when i went to the meeting with him um um the lady was speaking about a lot of things that they can get into here. So I say it's a lot it's a good opportunity for him. So that's what that means that my brain felt wonderful to see that he's doing something that he recognized. Yeah. I joined the program because I was at home doing nothing. I wanted something to do. And uh 16, not 16, 17, I mean I could get a job or anything like that. Yeah, I was like what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? And then my mother's boyfriend is who suggested the youth advanced score. It was like the youth advanced score. So then he was telling me what he did right then from there was like, yeah, I went from here to there, from there to there to there. And it actually came me in the program late. Because I had a residential phase. It came in the program late. But I still get it hanging out. He always has something to do. Like it, it was never like a boring time, never like was inside. We hard used to be inside. How I develop is because I have like, a lot of different instructors, all with different personalities. So, me and I have different personalities. I had to learn to deal with different personalities. And plus, the counselors help me through it, all these, like, my psychologists, etc. etc. So, I would say that learning how to deal with different personalities helped me to grow into my personality, and the counselors helped me to find my personality as well. I want to join the army, and you know, I'm still not sure if I won be here in Barbados if I want to do it overseas but I know for sure that I want to join my second option is to become a lawyer and into my law I feel so proud so proud I can't in a words to explain how I feel because like um at home again that she was she, she kind of was like you know I want to do this I want to do that and it was telling she well it's okay you gotta focus on one thing and to reach the top you don't muddle everything together just focus on study we will do at first and then when my boyfriend is like you know what you you got a lot of um energy and think this program we said that you'll be good in I could see you you got this be the spirit about you I can see that this and you and they tell you but yeah she's she's always be that kind of person whatever she puts your mind to She's always go after it and she always usually comes on top. They tell she go after it, you ain't doing nothing at home. So go and see what the best you could do. And she come out on top. I wasn't surprised. To be honest, I wasn't surprised because I didn't know tell you whatever she put her mind to, she always comes out on top. She was in the Miss Lust Gem competition last year 
and she won most of the trophies and a lot of things that she went to from small everything she was going to she would always be on top and it'd be like that's my girl so i just i knew i was like before the call she name i was like my mind the honest white man i could be calling is hers for this moment standing to be honest so like if they didn't call she name i would have been <laughs> i would have feel sad because i, I know they would have called she name i was hollering the hardest uh, early in the morning do some drills or speedy while I'm yawning. Sun ain't gonna kill, but it's all for the better me. Trying to change my destiny. CYNC, molding the youth for tomorrow. CYNC, teaching us to lead not to read. We just do drills. Learning life skills, marching on till confidence fails. The Barbados Youth Advance Corps. Building the youth for a brighter tomorrow. Call 535-0180 or 535-3835 for more information. From all accounts, from the trainees and the parents, this residential phase was indeed a tremendous experience. In the next phase, the trainees will be exploring the academic program as well as technical and vocational skills. Continuing as we celebrate young people, we take a look at the National Youth Awards. After 13 years, the National Youth Awards Ceremony was held at the Frank Palmer Hall. Barbadians were invited to nominate young persons for a range of awards covering several categories. The awards were welcomed by all. And while the high point of the National Youth Awards was the recipients receiving the awards, we hear from some of them firsthand. Thank you. I'm deeply honored to have received the Seth Lawton Award. And I mean, it's just an inspiration to other young persons who are working in the sustainable development and climate change ramp to continue pushing and continue advocating for climate justice and getting more young persons on board to take action for the environment. I was not expect to it, to be honest, but it was indeed a surprise and a great one. Um, and a great one. And I'm deeply honored again to have received this award. My words can't express how we feel. I just want first and foremost give thanks to Almighty Allah. Almighty God really, nothing is possible without Him. Uh, my family who support me along the way and genuinely the people that I help and assist and, and try to serve as best as I can. Without them, nothing would be possible. And I just feel honored and humbled to receive this award and I just want to congratulate everybody else that won and not that didn't win either. Um, Everybody's doing excellent work and they must continue to do excellent work in every sphere and every sector in Barbados. Well, winning the award, it was very special to me, especially because of my work in robotics. I wanted to create, a, I call it an ecosystem where man and machine work together. So this is just a step to me achieving that goal in the future. And I started with the college robotics club, that's with Harrison College, but my goal is to move on to all schools. So I, I really appreciate the recognition for my work. Well, winning award today is a very good feeling. Uh, I'm sorry to say that, you know, I wish it didn't say my name because behind me is a lot of people. Uh, my advisors, Donna Louisa, LZ from Trinidad, Troy Holder from the ES program, a marketing mentor, and, and my team. So it's not only me. Without them, it wouldn't be possible. So I attribute it to my team and, uh, and them because the tutors at the academy, at the Market Plus Academy, really push it. You know, and uh, they, they care for our students at the academy, so I, I feel good, not only for me, but for the team. I think the National Youth Awards Initiative is amazing. It really gives young people a great boost in self-esteem when they've been nominated for awards. A lot of young people around the island are doing amazing work that isn't being showcased, it isn't being highlighted, and these awards are just one way that young people are able to showcase what they're about, what they do, and what they do to help build that BIM. Because everybody is building up them at the same time. I thank everybody that supported us so far, and I look forward to everybody supporting us for the future. As DJ Khaled would say, you can either win with us, or you could watch us win. Um, I would say it's an honor and a privilege to be winning the Kingwood Award today. Um, it is an award for agriculture, the work that we've been doing over the years, and it is phenomenal to be, you know, not only awarded but acknowledged and recognized by your, your home country. For the work you've been doing so um this award is not only for us and the work we've been doing but for all of our supporters um for our family and friends that have been with us over the years and we only thank god for the acknowledgement and recognition i was nervous my heart was beating 
Then the interpreter called my name. And she called, I was like, you're sure it's me? And I was overjoyed and I went and I got the award. And I felt very proud. One of the recently completed programs was the Garment Making Program. This program was held at the Community Centre in Rice, St. Philip. At first, I heard Dana talk about having some class here, so I decided that I would come and join in. So after joining, I knew nothing at all about sewing, nothing. So I told her I don't know nothing about sewing. She said, well, come and try. So I signed up and I tried it. And going on and on, you know, with, with all your cat stitch. So you're a bit fumbly, nervous about the stitching. And then it comes into play. And after, I can stitch my own clothes. This is an outfit that I can get. Yes. So now I can help myself. I can do my little tops, my little buttons, and at my pleasure. And I'm happy for that. Thanks to Community Development Center for having this program here so that I can help myself in stitching. It has been for want of a better word, a great learning experience being, I want to say I was a total novice at sewing. I used to, you know, do little dolls, do little stuff when I was small, younger. But what really brought my interest in it since I um, am at home, I figured that this is a great opportunity to, you know, as you get older, you want to try to occupy your mind and do something, you know, with your spare time. So I said, sewing is it. And I have gained a lot since I've been here. And I must say one thing for sure that this sewing class has taught me is to be patient because, as we have mentioned before, it is a lot of redoing. You got to undo, you got to restitch, you got to cut over, and you have to sit down, and you have to, that was a process that I have learned over the years, I'm not over the years, over the couple of months that we have been here. If you want to produce good work, you got to be patient. you got to make sure that it's done properly. And our instructor had an eye for every little minute detail. So if it wasn't up to par, you had to start it over. So I, I've, I've learned that. That's a trait that I never really was a very patient person. But it has taught me to be patient. And I do value... Um, I wouldn't say that I was a sp in, in fashion that much, but I can, I don't know, I have a little eye for little details in fashion, or I can look at a dress now and say, well, it's not fitting right, or there are little defects, stuff that you didn't know before, or you never noticed because, you know, you never were taught. So, those are little benefits that I have learned, in addition to making my own outfit, and a couple of others, I must say. Pretty good, I'm proud of it. She taught us a, at first a few lessons on how to stitch straight because us being novices, you know how it would be to stitch straight. But she then she gave us little pockets and little um, pockets on top, pockets for the sides, so to show us how they're made and how we can stitch them, right? So after having perfected the art, still not, but <laughs> <laughs> then we went on to cutting patterns and. The pattern cutting was the really the key to the whole um, the success story because we learned how to measure and cut on paper first before we get to material. I was anxious always to get to material and she had to slow me down. But anyhow, it was that we we measured 
each other. We had measurements done and therefore we followed them consistently so that everything, every style was based on the basic pattern. So the basic pattern then we would take and if we saw a style that we wanted we would then adjust it to suit. But you always have to go back to base. So this will always mean that your garment will fit perfectly because you're using same measurements for everything. But it's really nice so it was really nice and pretty um I, I just retired so it was like ah I could do something and it was really good that this was my first big thing that I did and I really enjoyed it. Looking forward now to doing the next course which is the jacket and pants, the advanced class. <laughs>